Okay, so you've made the leap and you've gotten out of your commission-based salon and now you're a solo hairstylist. So now what? Today we're tackling three important rules to follow to achieve success for independent hairstylists. Keep on watching. I'm Madison and I help independent hairstylists to set up or restructure their hairstyling businesses. I'll show you how to quiet the noise from all the unnecessary distractions using organization and truly innovative systems, as well as share some really helpful strategies to connect or reconnect with your branding so that you can learn the right way to promote your business, especially when you're promoting it online. Okay, so what are some of the basic rules that you can follow in order to succeed on your own path in this industry? Well, first, we're going to talk about the number one thing that you could be doing right now that is hindering you from making the type of income that you should be. Then we're going to talk about why learning only the technical side of our business could be putting you behind. And last, I'm going to go over a really major way that you can start retaining more of your clients ASAP, resulting in a more successful and fulfilling career. Okay, so number one, price accordingly. Say it one more time for the people in the back. <laughs> you know your worth. You know that you're a valuable, hardworking, and talented stylist. And if you do, it's time to start paying attention to your prices. If you actually price out what our products cost us and then factor in the time that we take giving our clients excellent service, you'd be pretty surprised to learn that you're probably not charging what you're worth when it comes to the profit of your business. When I broke down the math in my own business, I was extremely shocked to learn how much time and supplies I was just giving away for free. So when I made the choice to raise my prices unapologetically, I was so happy to see the support I had from my clients and the relief that I felt in my budget. I literally felt like I didn't have to work as hard anymore. And the truth was I was working the same, but it felt like the time was reimbursed on a much more fair scale if that makes sense. It just didn't feel as draining. So you definitely want to go over your inventory and the cost that it takes you to do your business. That way you can make sure you aren't wasting energy of all kinds. If you're an independent hairstylist who's interested in finding out the best ways to grow your business and you haven't done so already, please like and share this video and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss any other videos just like this one, which I'm putting out every single week. Okay, so if you're not continually investing your time and effort into learning your industry, you're gonna have a much harder time hitting your income goals than someone who does. Which brings me to the second rule you can follow to achieve success as an independent hairstylist. And that would be to never stop learning. It is so important in our industry and actually in life to never quit learning. There's just always something new and we couldn't possibly know everything. So humbling ourselves and realizing this is, the, is first and foremost. But then being active and trying to step outside of your comfort zone would be my second suggestion. When you run your own business, you quickly realize that you have to wear several hats. So sometimes you might need to you know, do your website or, you know, market your business. And all those things are not necessarily the skills that you would expect a hairstylist to have. But in the age of technology, which I say all the time, um, those are definitely the skills that you need to have. So push yourself and go outside of your comfort zone and ask for help. There's so many great educational courses right now online. Um, so just find something that you want to get better at and, you know, make the investment because if you're a self-starter, a side hustler and you're self-motivated, which I'm assuming that you are because you own your own business, look at this as an adventure and have some fun with it. You might realize how much passion you can develop in a different area that can really explode the success of your business. Did you know that returning customers are spending an average of two thirds more in your business than first time clients? I mean, sure, working with new customers is a great way to help your business grow, but keeping those customers coming back is a more effective way of expanding your bottom line. 
And in my opinion, one of the best ways you can do this is by establishing a way to reward your clients for their loyalty. A loyalty program is a great way to keep your clients coming back. And there are several ways that you can approach this. The three most popular ways are a punch card loyalty program, a points-based loyalty program, or a subscription membership program. And you are in luck because today I'm offering you my new guide to explore different types of loyalty programs that you could create for your own business. That way you can start rewarding your clients ASAP. I'm gonna link that in the description box below, but go check that out because that is gonna be a huge game changer for you. I really hope this gave you some things to think about, to strategize new ways of growing your, your independent hair styling business. And if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.